Hello, welcome back. This is the start of episode 22 of my Final Fantasy VII Let's Play. This is not a blind Let's Play. I've beaten this game several times before. Fair warning that spoilers could occur because this is a, a deep and layered story and if I catch new elements of foreshadowing to future events in the game, I will bring it up. So, fair warning on that, but yes, we are... Uh, we've already done the march, but I'm on my way towards the like the little uh, demonstration for Rufus here in Junon. So this, 135th Soldier. I remember back in the day when I first found these, or found some of these. There are several of them to collect. I don't think they do actually anything. 12 in the set. Yeah, I remember trying to collect 12 and see if anything would happen. I, I remember not finding very many. There's like all kinds of them. They're hidden around. But I, I think they, from what I remember watching some retrospective, I think like they were going to do something with them where you collect all 12 and then you get something for it, but then they didn't have time to add it in. So I think these are actually useless, but I'm not, I'm not totally sure on that. Oh, kitty cat. Is that two cats up there? Yeah, it's one like calico cat that's like all kinds of colors and then like an orange cat. Luck source. Oh shit. All right, let's get some more luck from uh, on cloud. Aww. Kitties. I love cats so much. Guard source. Wow. Another black doggy. This almost looks like a wolf. A small one. Power source. Fucking right. Hmm? I'm not going to the parade. The road to become a sol becoming soldier first class is very difficult. I know. I used to be one. So he's sitting around studying instead of going to the parade. All right, Cloud's getting stronger. Umbrella. Love the little details. Being being in this kind of city-ish uh, sort of thing, like modern city type of area, reminds me of playing Resident Evil 3. Fuck, I want to play that game again, like the old school version. I love the old Resident Evil games so much. And they have the cool uh, pre-rendered backgrounds just like these games. Alright, bye doggy. Okay, we'll see what's in... Or no, I already saw what was in both buildings. Uh, what happens if I go here? Is this where I was supposed to go? Maybe. Or no, maybe I'm supposed to go down this alleyway? Not really sure. No, I already went in here. Okay, yeah, I'm supposed to go this way. Let's talk to this soldier. President Rufus is being sent off at the port. Yeah, that's where I'm going. Alright, let's hope I can do this mini game well. Oh, which way do I go? I think there might be a save point down here. Oh, no speed up in this scene. Interesting. Who's that? Oh. It's a sailor. I couldn't see what he was when he was facing the other way. What is it? The elevator's out of order for an inspection. You know, right under us is a submarine do dock and the underwater Mako reactor. Ah, yes. I will come back there far later in the game. All right. I wonder why no speed up is allowed in this room here. It's very interesting. Is this like just the other side of that uh, elevator, kind of angular elevator thing? Oh, how's it going? If you're looking for June on Dock, it's over there. Oh, he's got the dog with him. Good boy. Got another doggy. Oh, we got all kinds of buildings, man. Holy crap, I didn't remember there were so many. Oh, we got more members of fuck. So we saw Rude already. And now down here we've got Elena. Just when I think the job's boring, you guys start messing around. The president is safe because we're here. Reno. Are you a girl, Reno? 
Can I talk to Seng? Hey, G.I. Joe, aren't you still on duty? Alright, I guess... I guess it's just a little bit of more... Uh, what would you call it? World building? I get annoyed with that term because so many people use it. Just more... Interesting... Uh, context. Just more... More interesting stuff to see. I guess you don't always have to have a fancy word to describe things. Are you sure it's alright? Nap while on duty? Enjoy your stay. Alright, I guess I can nap. Do, 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 do. Good morning, you still seem a little sleepy. Looking forward to see looking forward to seeing you again. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. Alright, let's save up. Always important to save. June on in. I like the checkerboard pattern there on the counter. Or chessboard. Please come in. Welcome. What is this? Like a salon? Please go to the counter. Buy a lot, cutie. No charge for a smile. Whoa, what the hell kind of place is this? There's lots of stores in Junon. If we don't do this, we can't compete. Oh, I see. That's why you got the the good-looking women all being all friendly out front. But what bothers me is that the girls make more than me. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Oh, I don't have any money left. Otherwise, I'd buy an uh, Earth material since I don't have one yet. Oh, well. I'll get more chances. Thank you very much. What about you? I used to be a soldier. Afterwards, I opened this shop. But to tell you the truth, I'd rather be at the shop downstairs. <laughs> Look, you can even see him chuckling a little bit. I bet you would, old man. Okay. Protects against darkness, protects against sleep. Well, I don't have the money for it, but that's cool. Oh, brother. Hey, aren't you still on duty? Look, I shouldn't talk, but... <laughs> yeah, really, you're, aren't you supposed to be on duty? Speed source? Oh, man. I guess there's like one of every source for you, you to find in this city. Fuck, playing this wants me to... What makes me want to do a Let's Play of every fucking Final Fantasy game. And every fucking From Software game, too, after I did the blind Let's Play of Dark Souls 3. It's just so fun! It's fun to experience this. I don't know. Like, even though I'm not streaming, eventually I'd like to stream too so that I could do this live, but even just recording it and knowing that people are going to watch it. Another 135th soldier. I thought that little white potion might have been another um, source, but you, you can tell the difference because the white potion is part of the background. It's like part of the pre-rendered thing. It has the pre-rendered look versus the little potions on the ground that were the sources that, uh, like our actual 3D models. But yeah, this reminds me of, uh, like, when I was a kid, uh, and you'd go to your friend's house, or they'd come over, and you'd just want to play a single-player game, and you would just, you know, take turns watching each other play and stuff. That's what, uh, Let's Plays and, uh, streaming reminds me of. It's cool knowing that other people are going to get to enjoy me and my ga gameplay and my thoughts on the game. Shinra manager. This is so embarrassing. And they told me I would be staying at five-star hotels on these trips. Oh, you're too good for this place? This looks like a kind of cool little room. Even though there's all, like, the tools and shit off in the corner. I don't think I'd mind staying here. <laughs> oh, yeah. But leave it to fucking corporate to fucking lie to him. Tell him, oh, yeah, you'll be staying at five-star hotels. And then they're just like, yeah, here, stay in this back corner. Whoa, what is this? Is this a bar? Oh, what the hell is this? Accessory shop. Oh, oh, welcome. We don't have much of anything now. I forgot to order enough the last time, but feel free to look around. Oh, it's a weapon shop. I don't have enough money to buy anything, though. Ah, oh, I want that so bad. Okay, can I sell anything to fucking... Oh, sell Shiva. No. 
Damn. How much is an Ether sell for? 750! I have so many of them and I can steal them. Okay, I want to sell... Let's sell... I'll sell a 15 after this. Let's sell a bunch. Oh, I could go back and buy that Earth Materia too, maybe. Uh, I'm not going to get carried away. I'm just going to buy... Just in case I... See, the thing is... If I never buy any upgrades for Red 13... Oh, he's good. If I never buy any upgrades for Barret, say... At some point, my party could get switched as part of a plot event. And then I have to use Barret. And then I don't have any ability to upgrade his stuff. And that could be problematic. So we'll just buy those things. That way we've got them on hand. Yeah, they would have had to 3D model all this stuff. Oh, weapon accessory, I see. That's what it says on the sign. They would have 3D modeled all this stuff and then pre-rendered it as well as they could. Make it look as good as possible while still fitting into the game. Cool smoke over there. Alright, here we go. Alright, it's time. Ten, huh? Oh, God. President Rufus has now arrived. The only hard part of this is the timing of it. Yep, there's a little bit of a delay after he shows the button before you have to actually press it to stay in timing with the other soldiers. After a couple of them, I should get it because the, the timing's not too hard, but the first one could be hard. Maybe the second one. This is it. Jude on military reception. Do it right. Do it with enthusiasm. Ready. Too late and then too early. Too early. That one was different timing. Okay, the buttons are faster than the directions. God damn, I'm still too early. Still too late, or early. Red 13's watching us from inside the thing. Oh, I just had to press any button to do that? Alright, well, 120, I mean, uh, better than nothing. Let's see what he says. Well done. Keep up the good work for Shinra Inc. Yeah, these guys will probably get better rewards than me. They did really good. Yeah, here's a special bonus for you. A token of the president's kindness. Don't forget it. Force stealer. Oh, shit. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. I mean, obviously, it didn't do amazing, but that's a fucking hard mini game. The timing for the left and the right was hardcore delayed, and then the timing for the fucking... Okay, let's put it this way. In the practice room, the timing for all the buttons versus the left and right, they were all the exact same. And it got to be a very specific timing. In the actual thing, the timing for the left and the right was way longer than the practice timing. And then the timing for the buttons was way quicker than the practice timing. And then they didn't tell you what button to press for the super special at the end. And they didn't tell you that you had to manually turn yourself back around to face forward before doing it. I mean, I still got 30 points for it, but... I wonder what the Force Dealer is. Once the word gets out that Sephiroth's here, Cloud and his friends will show up too. You know what? They might be closer than you think, pal. 
it's fucking awesome that they had Red 13 sitting in his fucking little submarine there or whatever. Or boat. We'll crush him as soon as we find him. We can't have them get in our way. Leave it up to me, sir. <laughs> I thought I told you to stop that stupid laugh. <laughs> Heidegger loses some of his energy. He's like, yeah. <laughs> Fucking soldiers are all nervous around Heidegger. Because Heidegger is getting shit on, so then he starts shitting on them even more to, like, vent his frustration from getting shit on by Rufus. All right, dismissed! That was close. Heidegger's been really edgy lately. Yep. Because Hojo disappeared, leaving a letter of resignation. Oh. Hojo resigned. Maybe after the president of Shinra got killed, maybe Hojo's nervous. With Sephiroth on the loose, maybe Hojo's got some kind of bad history with him. Sephiroth did uh, call out Hojo five years ago in Nibelheim, like, Oh, Hojo, what the hell are you doing this experimentation for? You're, no you're nowhere near the level of Dr. Gast. Also, but... Oh, or also that uh, Hojo lost his specimens, his Red 13 and Aerith specimens. Heidegger's been forced to take over that investigation, too. So he's investigating the disappearance of Hojo, as well as trying to chase after Sephiroth, as well as trying to chase after Avalanche. Hey! I thought you were dismissed! <laughs> Everybody just starts jumping. We got some cleaning up to do. Hurry up! Well, Red 13 was on this boat, so... <laughs> we'll cross the ocean to the new continent. Even if we are wearing Shinra's uniforms. Yeah, that's a weird thing to say. It, it feels like some of the dialogue, they had more time to, like, try and... Anglicize it. And then some of it, they just did a direct translation from Japanese, and they didn't have time to translate the context of what was being said. Here we are. I'm on a boat, motherfucker! Alright, we're on the boat. I'm working hard already. You still want me to do more? The new president's probably the same. He's just gonna order us around anyway. Okay, so the guys in blue outrank the sailors, apparently. That's not a box. That is a box, but I can't get at Oh, I can't get at it. Ether. Alright! So many ethers. So that's my fucking money source, apparently, is selling ethers. Although it'll be good to still keep some around, because obviously magic's important, especially for healing. Force Stealer. Oh, so it has the same amount of slots. It doesn't have any connected slots, but it gives me a big attack boost. I mean, I'm definitely equipping it. Let me just see. Yeah, these don't need to be connected. Cloud's not using any connected materials. Oh, oh baby. Oh, baby. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Received all materia. I have a third all materia. Fucking right. Um, it's me, Eris. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, Cloud, did you see the airship at Junon? I heard it was big, but I didn't expect it to be that big. That was really something. Hey, do you think I could get on it? Oh, baby, do I flirt with Eris? Oh my god! <laughs> I might as well, since her and Tifa are, are uh, even in the running. I mean, I love both of them, so let's just let's just flirt with both of them. Keep hoping. Wow, I'm really looking forward to it. So yeah, see in English saying "keep hoping" it almost sounds like uh, "keep dreaming," which would be like a no. But in in the Japanese context, it's like "keep hoping, keep your dreams alive, and one day I'll take you." Okay, so. Let's ride the airship together, okay? Promise, promise me. I'm really excited to see who I wind up on the date with. Because I'm really just trying to answer these, you know, how I would if I were really Cloud. 
Oh yeah, I already heard this. Um, I'm not sure what to do about the enemy skill materials, because like... Oh, I learned another one. Flamethrower, cool. Like, should I... The, the thing is, there's four enemy skill materials in the game. And it's actually... Well, one, some of them are missable. And two... Uh, some of the enemy skills are missable. There's a couple where you only have a few uh, opportunities to get them. So... And then there's also, like... So do I put both on Cloud so that if Cloud gets hit, both enemy materials get filled up? Or so do I put one on Cloud, one on another party member so that if one gets filled up... Uh... I, I mean, I might as well put a second one on Cloud for now. So that if, like... Like, what if an enemy skill only hits one party member? Like, say it doesn't hit Cloud, but if I have an enemy skill on someone else, it might hit them, so at least I get the skill once. It's hard to know what to do. And then it's like, am I ever really going to use these? I'm kind of just putting them on Cloud right now for completion's sake. Might be better to have, like, summons on and stuff. That, I, I'm glad the... I'm glad I, I read the tutorials, the new tutorials in that little basement area in Junon about... Um, the elemental materia, because I did not remember, or maybe I never knew, like, that the elemental materia, so say on this armor here, say you have lightning, and then I put the elemental materia here, that would mean I would get lightning defense, you know, as part of my armor. Plus, I would get to cast bolt. But I didn't realize that I could also, so I could put mog there, or choco mog, and it says wind, which tells you if I combined that with elemental, I would get wind defense on my armor. I didn't realize you could use the summons like that as well, so that's really interesting. Gives me even more reason to have summons equipped. Um, so yeah, will I wind up using a lot of the enemy skills? I don't know. They're just, they're kind of neat. They're kind of neat, so I'll just use them on that basis. And it's like a completionist kind of thing. Like, I'm not I'm not trying to perfect the game. If I was, I'd be using a guide. But I still like doing... I, I do like getting as much as possible. It's just fun to get more stuff. Hey, get to work. Both the new President Rufus and Heidegger are aboard this ship. If we do good, we can get promoted. Yeah, I love that slice of life shit, too. Everybody's like... It's like real life. You're trying to get promoted. You're trying to get ahead. Won't do any good to trying to stop me. All right, I'm going to show the new president what I'm made of. Yeah, th so they're all, they're a bunch of uh, eager beavers on this ship. Does anybody outside of Canada use that saying, eager beaver? Yes, sir. Everything quiet, sir. But you know what? I really hate this uniform. Oh, I was gonna say, why is this soldier calling me sir when I'm the same rank as him? But it's Tifa. <laughs> she's just trying to, like, fit in as best she can. She, she's just calling everybody sir, probably. Uniform, soldier, war. I hate them all. They take away all the things and people you love. Right? Fucking took away her father. And everybody in uh, Sector 7. And including people she was close with, like, uh, uh, Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse. I, I never even saw Biggs. I saw Wedge when he was on the ground. I saw Jesse when she was on the stairs on the way up the pillar. I never even saw Jesse. So fucking sad. Or, or uh, Biggs, sorry. Right, Cloud? Yeah. Oh, of, of course I'm gonna agree. So I, this isn't as much of a flirt, but it is a connection moment. You're right. So I guess that shows Eris is more caring about, like, dreams. Like, she, I'm her bodyguard and she cares about protection, but it seems like she's more about hopes and dreams. Whereas Tifa is more about, like, her promise from Cloud that she got from Cloud seven years ago was about coming and saving her. So she cares about protecting things. You're right. Uh, yes, sir. I'll continue my watch, sir. Hee <laughs> hee. Aw. Cutie. Dang it. Let's go talk to this fine fellow. Hey, what's wrong, kid? You've got no pep. A seaman's gotta have oomph. Uh, a 
I'm tired. I just got the perfect thing. Invisible Alpha, a super drink for semen. Just want to rejuvenate you. Only 250. I'll take it. Thanks. This is a necessity for a sailor. This is a must item for a sailor. Ha ha ha. What the hell is this? Drugs? Oh, HP MP restored. 250 for for the inn, basically. Something's missing. Oh. Shop. Hey, hey, what do you mean missing? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, definitely a boss. I, I remember there's a boss battle coming up on this ship. I absolutely remember what it is, too. I won't say anything until it comes up. But it's, uh... It's more than just your average boss. I remember getting stuck on this ship, too. I remember there's a certain set of things you have to do. It's just like the Sector 6 wall market. Like, there's just some areas where I remember getting stuck on my first time through this game. And who knows, it might happen again. Where was it that I just got stuck earlier? Oh, I was trying to figure out the damn uh, Fort Condor thing. Oh man, we're almost to Costa del Sol. That's a fun little town. When I get there, I'm gonna take a long overdue vacation. Maybe I'll go down to the beach and get a tan. Yep, slice of life. This guy just cares about life. He doesn't necessarily care about a promotion. Let's save up. Oh, what an awesome game. Alright, let's go talk to this suspicious-looking soldier. It's me, Red 13. <laughs> he fucking can't walk, right? Because he's supposed to be on all fours. I'm a little woozy, but I shouldn't get caught. Humans only look at appearances anyway. Oh, that's deep. From Mr. Fucking uh, Deep uh, Wise Old Man Red 13. Humans only look at appearances anyway. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that deep, though? Humans only look at appearances anyway. It's all right if I look a little weird. Damn. I mean, that's an indictment. That's an indictment on humanity. Any way you look at it, I, I'd say I'm, I make a fine human being. His tail. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. All right, let's go up to the front of the ship. What do they call that? The nose? Uh, what, what, is, what sides are port and starboard? I think port is the left side, starboard's the left. Uh, the hull, maybe the hull, no, the hull is the bottom, right? Uh, I can't remember what the front and the back are, are called. The deck is the top. How come I can't fit through? Yeah, this is one of the things that fucks you up, like... Can I not get past you? <laughs> Please, let me past! Can I climb this ladder? No. Son of a bitch! Can I go in this door? No. Oh fuck, I'm already stuck on the ship. Okay, so the only one I haven't found yet is Barrett, right? I've talked to everybody. This guy that's trying to get promoted. This is a guy that's overworked. Oh, this is different dialogue. What a chance for a promotion. The only one who's going to benefit from this is the chief anyway. Yeah, this is the guy that's just sick of being overworked. And he's like, well, okay, our chief is all gung-ho about getting promotions. Or I keep using the word gung-ho because it's what we use. But I, I keep pointing out that gung-ho actually means work together, not be enthusiastic. The only one who's going to benefit from this is the chief anyway. So this guy's like, why, why be that ambitious when only the chief is going to get, you know, rewarded for all of our hard work regardless? It has nothing to do with us workers. Okay, so hold on. Is it this staircase over here? Oh, get out of my way, Eris, please. No, I can't get over here to get up that set of stairs. Dude, I'm stuck already. Can't go in here. keep wasting my money. Uh, I, I don't know what to do. Uh, 
Holy fuck. And literally, I've got the, the arrows on, so it should be showing me everywhere I can go. Although we all know that it misses some. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Hey, Cloud, did you see Barrett? I hope he's not doing anything stupid. Okay, so now, do I go back up here and Barrett's up here doing something stupid? Is Tifa in a different position now? Yeah, see, look at that shit. Who would know that they have to talk to a bunch of I guess you have to talk to all your party members and then go back and talk to Eris. <laughs> Barrett, you're not being very subtle spying on Rufus and Heidegger there. Look, Cloud, it's Rufus and Heidegger. They're this close, but we can't do a thing to them. Um, uh, how can he going off laughing like that? Because of him, Biggs, Wedge, Jesse. Yeah. Heidegger was a big part of that plan, wasn't he? Uh, Barrett's angry. Wearing his fucking sailor outfit. Surprised that fit him. God, I can't take it anymore. I'm gonna sell things here and now. Emergency alerts. Reports of a stowaway found. Those not on detail, search the ship. Report when found. I repeat, stowaway sighted on board. Those not on detail, search the ship. Report when found. Damn, did they find us? Hmm, I don't think it's us. Did they find Tifa and the others? Get off your spiky butt and let's go, Cloud. Nobody else in my party yet. My butt is not spiky, it's just my hair. Oh shit. Let, let's save up. Let us save up. I'm at 32 minutes into this Let's Play, so I should have time. Although even if I get to the end of my timer in the middle of a boss, I can always pause it in the boss battle. Everyone all right? You all right? Oh, so it's all of us, plus there's one sailor here. Are we just gonna talk out in the open when there's a sailor right there? You all right? Huh? Everyone's here, right? Hey, wait. Fuck, I wish I had gotten Yuffie. God damn it. You don't think that suspicious stowaway is... Oh, right. There could be a stowaway other than us. Sephiroth? Really? Yeah, so, didn't somebody assume he had already crossed the ocean? I think that was Cloud that assumed that. Maybe everybody assumed that, but then... So maybe they think they're chasing Sephiroth, but meanwhile Sephiroth is getting aboard here so that he can cross the ocean. How the hell am I supposed to know? Let's find out. It's the most logical thing to do. Then who's going to go? Keeping my party the same? 16, 17. So they're keeping my party leveled up for me, even when I don't use them. That's pretty good. Sephiroth. Alright, let's go. Let's talk to these guys, just in case. I'm going too. No, you're not. Oh, that's just a switch up. I just want to see what Red 13 says anyway. Even though he'll probably give me a party switch. His clothes are too tight on me. Can I switch with you? Oh. <laughs> Alright. Okay, are we healed up? Yes, we are. And what did that guy offer to sell me? I don't think it was much. Sir, who are you? You're not part of a crew. Oh, well, seamen never bother with details. How you feeling? Yeah, I don't need to heal. That should be plenty enough. Okay, I got a lot of good extra materia and shit. So, whoops. Power wrist, what else do we have? Just the talisman. Protect Fest, because he's got cover. Force Stealer is good. Full Metal Staff, so she can equip two extra materia now. And... Is the boss going to poison me, or use spells more likely? Probably just use spells, but... Uh, poison defense is just so good on my healer, so that she can't... Because uh, poison is extra deadly when you're dealing with an active time battle system, and it just goes off every so often. Okay, so what do we got here? Fire all... Steel, long range, that's all important. Sense and poison, those are basically all important. Enemy skill, I might get rid of some of those. Lightning, cover is important. Choco Mog. So let's give her Shiva. Uh, ice, restore all. I don't think revive all. Like, I don't think you can combine revive with all. 
absolutely revive is extremely important. And then somebody else should have revive too. Probably Tifa. Long range is important. Steel is important. Fire all. Sense poison. I get rid of poison for now. Yeah, fire too is pretty pretty sick. Then again, maybe I don't need the all right now, but uh, whatever. Revive all. Okay. Okay. Revive there. Okay. I, I'm gonna organize this material a little bit. I wish there was a material organize button. <laughs> Don't end. Okay. Uh yeah, we're 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 set up. Let's let's go save. Let's just go save. Bird just whistled outside my window. I was just whistling back at it. I love birds. I love all animals, really. Oh, baby. Oh, shit. The engine room. A suspicious character. No, there's no way. That's not a human. That thing's not human. Oh, boy. Someone very powerful is aboard. Oh my god, really? Okay, I'm gonna do this at slow speed. Ice 2! Holy shit, I'm gonna have to heal. I'll heal up with potions after the battle. Okay, we'll save the limit break. Holy shit, is it? I'll save both limit breaks, honestly. Let's use an enemy skill. Well, I'll save all the limit breaks and I'll just kill these guys with magic. Couldn't steal anything? Fuck it. Let's let's go fire two all. We'll go ice. Oh look at Cloud's cool ass sword. Flamethrower, and we'll have Cloud just keep using flamethrower. I can't believe they put me into a fucking random battle right before this damn boss. So I'm using up a little bit of my MP, but it shouldn't be the end of the world. Oh yeah, I hit L1 or R1 and it switches between all and not all. It's pretty handy. Okay. Holy shit, look at all of Tifa's MP she used on that fire too. That uses a lot. Okay, Tifa got a level up. I guess that's the silver lining. God, yeah, look at all her MP she used on two fire twos. Twenty-two MP. Uh, ah, uh, she's still got a lot. It would be a waste of an ether, considering it restores a hundred. We'll just save up. But let's definitely heal up on potions, or heal up with potions. Good enough. Good enough. Okay. Oh, I can actually go up here. I'm gonna be handy. Wind slash. Oh, is that like a Yuffie weapon? Yeah, Yuffie weapon. Okay. Well, if I had Yuffie in my party, that would be a cool thing to, to get before the boss. Uh, you know what? Let's just run. Let's just run. I'm already set up before the boss. If I get attacked anymore, I will just heal it up with potions. All right. All right, who does everybody think is uh, on the front of this ship? Drop a comment. Back attack. I'm going to get fucked up. Oh, here goes a lot of potions. Oh, never mind. Only one hit. That, that's fine. I can just use one potion. Close to full health. 
it's awesome to be going into this with a, a full set of limit breaks. Yeah, who does everybody think this uh, soldier is? Just some some random rogue uh, train conductor Shinra soldier? Gone rogue on the ship? Or is it truly Sephiroth? Oh, shit. He's dead. No, not Sephiroth. After a long sleep, the time, time has come. Cloud, look! Oh my god, right up through the floor? And he can float, too. He's more and more like Mewtwo all the time. Except I don't know if Mewtwo can come through the floor. Sephiroth, you're alive! Who are you? What? How does he not know who Cloud is? You don't remember me? I'm Cloud! Cloud... Sephiroth! What are you thinking? What are you doing? The time... is now. So is it an issue with Cloud's memory or Sephiroth's memory? What has happened to Sephiroth in the last five years after he went nuts? What? What are you saying? Be more- Oh god! Holy shit! It's like fucking a Super Saiyan. Here we go. Stop! Oh my goodness. Let's, uh... Cloud is stopped. I, I don't even have a way to heal that. Shiva. Oh, I, I should use Sense. Does Shiva have Sense? Yeah, Sense. Okay, Diamond Dust. Here we go, our first time seeing Shiva. Strangely, Shiva is actually a, uh... A Hindu deity that's actually not a female. I'm pretty sure Hindu, uh, Shiva's a male in Hinduism. But nonetheless, it became a super ice babe in the Final Fantasy series. Genova birth. So this is Genova. Okay, no, no weaknesses. Um, let's go ice. Well, let's summon Choco Mog. Might as well get our summons off. Let's steal. Let's see if we can steal something good from it. And then I'll use Healing Wind next turn with Eris. Death Blow! This is the running one, right? Yeah. Oh, boom! Ha <laughs> ha! 240, not bad. Healing Wind! Uh, we can see how much Flamethrower does. Oh, it does cost MP! 10 MP, yikes. Okay, big heal. Nothing to steal. Okay, don't need to worry about that. Let's go, let's go ice again. Uh, oh, let's fire two this bitch. Oh, okay, I'm gonna use Cure 2 on Eris' next turn. Flamethrower, let's see what Flamethrower does. Good damage. Oh, 199, that's actually really good damage. I'll keep using that, why not? Oh, no, never mind, let me use Blade Beam first. Okay, we'll go Cure All, since I believe I have two of those. Yes, I do. Oh, 470, fucking right. Yeah, we'll, we'll just, uh, we'll try Bolt once for fun. Only 4 MP. W Laser. Another Fire 2. Oh, shit. Okay, we get the cure off. We should all be basically at max health again. Yeah. We're close, anyway. Uh, we'll get one Ice off, and then we'll use another cure, probably. But she should be going down soon. I, I don't think Bolt did as much as Flamethrower. Just drain- oh, this is the last Fire 2 Tifa can use. That's all good. We'll just, uh... Use one more Ice, why not? Let's see how much damage I can do with the Force Stealer. Ice. Boom! 135, not bad, really. Not bad at all. We'll use another ice since she's not damaging me too much. She's gotta go down real soon. Ow! Yeah, we'll use another cure. Flame throw what? So it looks like t stop runs out eventually. Doesn't look yeah, there we go. So it only like affects you for a few turns. Flame thrower. Boom. Okay, we'll just have her use fire. And then after that, she'll just use regular attacks if this thing's still alive. 
Genova birth. So this is like the birth of Genova. It's almost like a rebirth after, like, was it dead underground? Was it just like latent, latently alive underground? I guess I just <laughs> should say she. A former Cetra. Former ancient. Boom. Klim Hazard. Oh shit, Cloud's got his fourth fucking limit break already. Oh, Klim Hazard. That's his up B in, in Smash Brothers. So we have three out of four um, of, of Cloud's uh, special attacks in Smash Brothers. White Cape? I think that maybe prevents Frog. I've seen this before. Is that little tail all that was left of it? After we defeated it? Geno oh, the arm of Genova. Genova. He's been carrying this thing around? So it was Sephiroth. The time is now. I think that's what... I think that was what he said. Time is now? I'm getting so confused. Cloud, explain what's happened so far. Fucking right, a recap! I'll try, but don't interrupt me while I'm explaining. Fucking... Amen! I can't stand when I'm trying to explain something complicated and people just want to keep interrupting. Sephiroth went off searching for the Promised Land so he could become the ruler of the planet. That was five years ago. I love that they give you this opportunity to recap, but it's optional. That is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant choice. Then Sephiroth came back and killed President Shinra. So that's a big gap of five years. And then just now, all of us saw Sephiroth. He was carrying Genova with him. He also came through the floor. And he was able to fly around and made a green flash when he burst at us and knocked us all onto the ground. This much I do know. He told me he wants to go to the Promised Land with his mother, Genova. I guess that's about it. Okay, that's not a huge recap, but better than nothing. Dock workers, we'll be docking in Costa del Sol in five minutes. Prepare for docking. We should hide somewhere again. Okay, so right here, right now, if you walk out of this room and you leave this ship, this is lost forever. So if you happen to be playing this, do not miss this shiny red materia, Ifrit. Ifrit is uh, an Arabic word for uh, some kind of demon. It's like, uh, maybe a, maybe it is a fire demon, actually. I, I can't remember what type of demon specifically it is. It's some kind of uh, jinni. Jinni being like Arabic word for demon. I believe that's the singular and the plural word is jinn. Like D-J-I-N-N. -N, that kind of thing. Okay, material. Let's let's uh. Sh okay, let's have everybody have a summon. So what can we abandon on her? Since revive nothing really. All of it's pretty important. Okay, so let, let's just abandon fire all, I suppose. If Reed is fire all in a way, so I guess that's a decent trade off. Uh. I could give him lightning all, but then I would have to sacrifice the enemy skill. I think it's fine. Eventually I will get better and better weapons and armor. Like, soon I should be able to get armor that gives them three slots each, and then I'll be able to put on more materia, so I think it's fine for now. Okay, we should be getting off at Costa del Sol real soon. Sephiroth is alive. The promised land does it really exist this gives you a chance to uh to notice the um <laughs> the red materia and regret not picking it up here we go baby decent looking clouds in the skybox back there here we are, Costa del Sol. Which I think must be Spanish for, like, Sun Coast, basically. Coast of Sun. Woo! Damn, sure is hot here. But I sure feel better now that I can say goodbye to this sailor suit. 
Yo, listen up. Y'all be sure to mingle like regular folks here. Oh, too bad. I like Barrett's sailor suit. <laughs> Trolling Barrett. He looks so cute. What do you mean, cute? Right, well, uh, Barrett, why don't you use that sailor suit for pajamas? <laughs> Fucking Eris and Tifa are like besties now, eh? Right, Cloud? Oh, right, Cloud? Uh, no, I'm not playing along with that. I I'm not. Even if that would, would get me more points with them, like, I'm not, uh,. I'm not cucking my buddy Barrett like that. Keep your mind on Sephiroth. Remember, this isn't a vacation. We're here after Sephiroth. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not against having fun. It makes it sound like I'm anti-fun. But I, I just don't want to fucking... Uh, I'm not trying to emasculate Barrett like that. I'm going on ahead. Hmm. Cloud. Cloud, you're the one who's always hanging around wasting time. Hey, I was standing up for you, you fucking jackass. I'm gonna skip this resort. <sighs> Would you kindly hurry? The heat here is drying my nose. <laughs> Alright, we'll take a break, then head off. Don't wander too far off. I'll wander wherever I damn well want. Who made him the leader? See, this is a little bit inconsistent, because Barrett was okay with me being the leader before. The, the writing is getting uh, a little bit less consistent than it was in the beginning of the game. Looks like my main got messed up. I'm going to rest somewhere cool. Can I chase after them? No. Alright, let's talk to this mofo. You're still always, right? It's okay. I'm used to them. The truth is, before I worked here, I was one of the best. <laughs> Fucking... Use this stowaway experience to learn how to become a sailor. Don't bug me. This is Rufus's first official visit since becoming president. It seems like he's here on business this time. I'm so jealous of him I can spit. We're both about the same age, but he's president. Ha! <laughs> yeah, that is... That is real. Oh, crap. The manager of Shinra won't come down. You know, Sh Rufus would probably be more beloved if he was nicer to the people under him. He would have less jealousy of him. Even though the president's here on business, all he does is play, forgetting everything to do with work. Okay, so the Shinra manager here in Costa del Sol is a bit of a slacker. But who can blame him? It's fucking fun in the sun. Hey, babe, how's it going? But a bunch of hard-working deckhands like you wouldn't understand. On the marine blue sea, gazing at the eternal skies that seem to go on forever, gives you the feeling like you're taking a nap on the wing of a Cessna. Oh, they refer to a, like a real type of airplane. I guess this woman's got a poet's soul. And probably a little bit of a... She's either rich or wants to be rich. It's the ultimate high. Seaplane only. Oh, I get this seaplane eventually, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I hear the Shinra brass are arriving soon. <laughs> Got nothing to do with us, does it? Well, this guy's just having too much fun in the sun. Oh, shit. Hel so it says helipad there, and then the one on the side, I think, says Costa del Sol port. It's kind of a cool little detail. rich people are watching. There comes fucking big jackass Heidegger. Rufus. Jeez, what a long boat ride. Hmm, good work, everyone. Yeah, so Heidegger, see, all the, um, the leaders of Shinra that are from, uh, from the, like, the former president, uh, Rufus's dad's kind of era are all kind of just, like, getting fat off of their fucking greed and just like having fun and only half-assing it. Rufus, you know, seemingly he's half-assing the, um, the, the facade aspect of it. He's just being like cold and ruthless, not even trying to present Shinra as good. All he cares about is results. But he's a lot more serious about it. He's not just fucking around. And he will give more praise to people like for doing good work whereas the greedy like you know fat motherfuckers like the, his dad and heidegger and palmer and all them they probably were like dicks to the people around them other than each other 
just kind of guessing, but it, it, it's interesting the way they characterize everybody. Yeah, <laughs> hurry up with that. Yeah, see, Heidegger's, Heidegger's more of a dick. R Rufus is a dick in his aims, but he's more appreciative of the people around him that are helping him with those aims. Yes, sir! I heard Sephiroth was on board. Rufus is a little bit of a man of the people. He waves off to the rich people of Costa del Sol. Yes. And it seems Cloud and the others were on board, too. Ah, huh, they got good intel. Yes. They all slipped through. You messed up big this time, Heidegger. Oh, shit. Things are just getting worse and worse for Heidegger. So how did how did Sephiroth, like, destroy all these other people, but then didn't get to Heidegger and Rufus? I'm ashamed of myself. <laughs> Heidegger's just trying to cover his ass. He's like, oh, I'm ashamed of myself. Please don't hurt me, sir. <laughs> He's begging. Is that all you can do? Give one word answers and apologize for everything? Oh, yeah, it's like... Rufus only cares about results. He only cares about effectiveness. Ready for departure, sir. Yeah, see, Rufus is probably more appreciative of this guy who's just, like, doing the function of his job well. Do something. I'll be expecting results. Wow. So in some ways, Rufus is more of a prick, but in some ways, he really is more likable than Heidegger. Oh my god, look at Heidegger just smashing everybody. <laughs> the fucking rich guy's running. The lady lays down again. Yeah, Rufus is putting all of his anger into fucking Heidegger, and then Heidegger's just like... Aah! How dare you look at me? Everybody get back to work! This is all your fault! Okay. 57 minutes in i gotta go take a piss so this is the end of episode 22 i believe so thanks for watching episode 22 let me know what you think about this let's play this game so far sephiroth genova our party we're on a new continent now are you excited what do you think about heidegger and rufus and their dynamic what do you think about uh rufus's approach to things versus uh versus the former president's approach. I almost feel like maybe they're going to give Rufus a chance to do something good at some point in the story. I don't remember if he does. I kind of feel like he doesn't, but the way they're characterizing him, they're kind of humanizing him a little, little, little bit. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. Uh, drop a comment. If you didn't watch the whole thing so far, I've got all this entire Let's Play in a, uh, in a playlist, so check out the whole thing. A lot of interesting commentary. Excellent game, of course. And, uh, and that's it. Like, share, subscribe, all that used car salesman stuff. Love ya. Uh, you know, in a, in a normal, non-creepy way. <laughs> and, uh, oh, it looks like it might rain out. It's getting kind of gray outside. Yeah, hope you have a good day. And, uh, I'll see you in episode 23.